another week of car launches, testing is this week, and four weeks to Melbourne. The season is so close. And to start off the melee, Williams Rocket Racing released their car, the FW43, ahead of winter testing on Wednesday. Now, last year, they were the team to release last. They released the livery, and then a few days later, the car, which wasn't ready for the first test. Well, that's a thing of the past. One new driver, Nicholas Latifi, new staff, and it looks like a new car. And what a car this looks like. Now, we haven't seen much livery changes in the last few teams, but this one looks to be a one that we've all wanted. Now, personally, the car last year made me feel a little bit sick. I hated that light blue on the car. Ugh. But this year looks really good. Three solid colours, red, white and blue. Now, of course, Williams are a British team and they are the colours of the Union Jack. So that's a nice little representation. Now, of course, Rocket remain as the biggest sponsor to the team. Still a very strange name for a cell phone manufacturer. Now, they are prevalent on the rear wing, of course, in red with the white text for Rocket. Blue is the outline of the front of the car with red on the side pods. Now, George Russell was the first driver to take to the track in this in winter testing, or at Catalonia, I should say. This is ahead of winter testing, so of course no stopwatches are available, but it is nice to see the car on the track. It does look really nice. Uh, the side pods really do look really, really shallow. Now, of course, we've seen that with other teams. This must be a bit of a thing this year. Again, like Jordan and like my other videos, I'm not very technical, but the side pods do look very, very slim, so the car must be aerodynamic. And of course, anything to help Williams get back to anything that they weren't last year. And of course, hopefully trying to get them to at least some solid points and not to finish last, which I have my uh, theory that they might not. Of course, George Russell now is the leader of the team. It looks good for him, of course, the young British driver returning for a second season in the British team. And it does look like a really good car. Now, even the livery of his number 63 is really standout. And it does look really good around the track. Really striking, of course. The tri-colours really getting a big effect. The uh, the rear wing looks really, really nice, of course. That has been revamped as well around the rear wheels. And it looks stunning. That's all I can say, really. It does look stunning. Now, for William Psyche, to have it out today is, I would say, very good. Again, as I said last year, they didn't have their car ready for Test 1. That was a big hit. Even you could say before Melbourne, they knew that they were going to be last place. They were going to struggle because they weren't even ready for testing. That's like not even having your uniform ready for the first day. Or even the third day, the fifth day. And three weeks have gone by and the teachers are going, what's going on? Why haven't you got your uniform ready? I guess. It never happened to me, obviously. So, yes, Williams are ready and the car looks good. It has taken to the track today. Uh, Latifi is rumoured to take to it this afternoon. Also with a little bit of uh, kind of warming up tomorrow again ahead of the actual official start on Wednesday. Um, they were supposed to release um, on Wednesday I believe at testing so they have skipped the queue which is good. And there we go. There is the FW43 of course named after Sir Frank Williams. The acting team principal of course still at the team. And there we go. It does look a good. Nice striking colour of course keeping the blue and white from last year. The red takes more of a prevalent stay. Uh, the rocket... Uh, sponsor on the car even though you know whatever the hell that is it does have a better look to it and there we go I mean it's only little kind of baby steps for Williams if you can get a good looking car maybe you'll have a good looking season and uh, yeah they need anything they can get and uh, hopefully they have found that of course the two drivers George Russell and Nicholas Satifi should be a good lineup George should be stronger in that car of course he is now the leader of the team Latifi, we'll have to see what he can do. A good Formula 2 driver does bring a, a bit of stigma around in terms of what money he brings, but we'll have to see what can happen. And of course, I hope that they don't finish in last place, but or at least if they do finish in last place, I hope that they do get a good few points on the board. Anyway, so that is the end of the Williams car launch. Thank you very much for listening. We're getting very close to the end now. There's only a few more teams to release. Uh, I believe the next one is Racing Point, who did leak their car on Twitter a few days ago. But, of course, that was ahead of their official uh, car launch, so that could change. Winter testing starts on Wednesday with, of course, two tests this week and next week. At the moment, we are about four weeks ahead of the Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne, so it's getting very, very close. Uh, and we hope you can stick around for the rest of the season. Thank you very much for listening. If you do like what you hear, give us a like and subscribe, of course, for the, for the remaining car launches and winter testing coverage. 
And uh, until next car launch, we'll see you later.